serving in the Chatham Congregation in Fredericksburg, Virginia. This is part one of a two-part video series in which I will show how to assemble images and videos that we display at our midweek and Watchtower study meetings um, using the uh, approved software for meetings called KH Audio. Now again this is just part one and uh, part two will be uh, demonstrating how to take those images and put them into a playlist. Uh, so if you are looking for that please stay tuned. But we'll go ahead and proceed with part one which is gathering this information and uh, putting together some notes. So on the screen you have a few things you can see aside from my recording, my face. You'll see that I've got a text editing application where I typically just put the notes of what image will be shown in what order image or video whatever media content so if you're looking at my screen you'll see Christian Life and Ministry 2017 January 2nd through 8th and you'll see that the uh, year text for 2017 will be um, displayed and there's an annotation for start of the meeting followed by January 2017 workbook image to be displayed after the prayer uh, an image that can be presented which is right out of the workbook uh, for treasures from God's Word and I'll go ahead and edit this one as it is not complete um, but we will be putting together or I'll, I'll be showing how to put together uh, an example here um, so we'll consider this not complete okay so I'll show how to get going in the middle you'll see a browser uh, I'm using Google Chrome and I'm at JW.org and you'll notice that I'll go to publications meeting workbooks and we're trying to put together images and videos for January meetings so here I will actually download if I haven't already a PDF version and I'll show you why so under my local computer I've already created a Christian life and ministry meeting folder for January and I've already downloaded the PDF meeting workbook and you can label it however you need to in order to remember what the file is so you see I've got the January workbook and you'll notice that I have an image well I have an image file name here so what I'll do is I'll go ahead and save a local copy of this workbook image from the cover and I'll do that by going to I'll close this out if I had already downloaded the PDF I'll just go ahead and close that out and in order to get the image from the cover I'll just go and tap on the e-publication uh, which is the same as tapping on the meeting workbook icon on JW.org now you'll notice that I've got the image here I cannot click on it to make it bigger but I can right click save image as 
And first what I'll do is I'll navigate to the location I want to save it, which is Christian Life and Ministry, Images and Videos. And in this case, I will be doing this for January. And so I will copy the file name that I would like to save it as, January 2017 workbook, workbook image. And I will name it as such and hit save. Now these are the conventions I just tend to use to remind me of what the image means or contains, but it's really up to you, whatever makes you comfortable or will help you. Now this is almost like a boilerplate. In fact, if I was to just copy this file, I can create uh, the following week's worth of notes. So you can see here January 2nd through 8th is what I'm working on. The next week will be January 9th through 15th. The next one will be 16th through 22nd. And of course, the, the last, uh, we have two more, there are two more weeks in January. So 23rd through 29th, and rounding out January, January 3rd through February 5th. All right. So again, I'm using um, the notes application that comes on my Mac. You're free to use whatever you are comfortable with. Word, Google Docs, uh, anything that you're comfortable with. I happen to like uh, putting these into um, this format, mainly because I use uh, other Apple mobile devices and I sync this over iCloud. Uh, so I'm using this Mac at my house, uh, but when I go to the Kingdom Hall to, uh, as I'll show in part two, I'll be using my iPad. Uh, so this will synchronize across those devices. So I'm back to January 2nd through 8th, and now I'm going to start collecting all the images. And I'll show you why I have the PDF file open. So we'll go into January 2nd through 8th, and you'll notice this looks very much like the workbook if it was printed in your hand. We have an opening song, opening comments. Now in an e-publication format, what's convenient are um, supplementary pages in the workbook. They are linked uh, to the actual heading. So in this case, you'll see if I scroll down, we have Treasures from God's Word, Apply Yourself to the Field Ministry, Living as Christians. And if I scroll down, you'll see that I don't see the images that uh, you might have in the physical copy. But if I click on Jehovah Takes Care of His People hyperlink, it will take me to the page that would correspond to what would be in the printed copy. Now what I tend to do is I look at, look at it, and then in the PDF file I'll also go to the actual um, week, January 2nd through 8th, and you can see that it, it's just one image. That's fairly simple. And then in any, whichever one, whether it's PDF or on the web browser, I'll copy the caption. I'm having a bit of trouble on the PDF, so I'll go to the browser, and I'll copy Jehovah Takes Care of His People. And here what I will write is the file name. Uh, so I'll write image, hyphen. In this case, I want to also mention the page number in case somebody references this. In this case, it's an optional image that can be displayed during Treasures from God's Word. That tends to be what we do at our meetings. Um, and if the brother who is giving the talk wants to mention the image, uh, he has a page that he may reference. 
So that's page two, and then I will paste the caption. And then I'll in make an annotation. In this case, I use parentheses uh, to mention its treasures from God's Word. So that's the section or the um, part that the image pertains to. I'll go back to the browser and I'll hit the back button and uh, I'll just take a look here so there's nothing else digging for spiritual gems, Bible reading no need for images or videos we do have uh, preparing this month's presentations now these have been have required me to log in I'm serving as a ministerial servant in the Chatham congregation and so I would have access to download the sample presentations. You can see here, if I go to the one that's hyperlinked off of the e-publication that they give me to some reference, but not to the actual videos. So what I'll do is I'll scroll down to the bottom and I'll look for this login and I'll click on it, which will open me up to a new tab or browser window. And I'll go ahead and log in with my credentials. And typically, if you're authorized to download this, you'll find it under Event Media, which is under Documents. And you'll see I have a few things. I have Our Christian Life and Ministry, January 2017. And you can see that Sample 1, Teach the Truth, and was life created all three of those videos are available and to confirm it you can see that I've got this note here so I'll go ahead and right click save link as now I'm going to just label this as sample sort of as they have brought it out on the page sample one so I'll say video Sample one. Now this one is going to be um, apply yourself to the field ministry. So I'm just going to put some placeholders here. I'll call this one teach the truth, just like instructed. And the last one is was life created. Now, I refrain from using question marks, exclamation marks, any kind of special characters beyond the hyphen, uh, just because working with computers, they may have a problem recognizing the file name. And some of these things are reserved. So I try to keep it simple, but I do use camel casing, which I'll spell it out properly or something. But this is just simply what I do and not, uh, not necessary for you to follow the example. So I'm just going to confirm that I'm using the Christian Life and Ministry. Um, my location hasn't changed. And I'll go ahead and save the file as the file name that I have in my text editor. Same with this one. I'll go ahead and get all, all of them. And then, of course, I have the third one. And uh, was life created. Okay. Trust in you is most likely, oh, Jehovah, I trust in you excerpt but you'll notice this one is January 16th, so we'll get to that. I, I will get to that point when I'm ready to work on that week's um, uh, co media content listing for the playlist. There's nothing else for January 1st, so I'll go back to 
the workbook. And I just want to confirm, so it says discussion based on sample presentations, play each video and then discuss the highlights. During January, the publishers will have the uh, option of offering the brochure, the origin of life, five questions worth asking. Knowing this might be brought up, I will go ahead and get an image of this ready, just in case, right? And so, th there's not much I have to do here, but what I will do is I will copy that because my annotation is pretty long, meaning it applies to that section in the meeting, apply yourself to the field ministry, and then I want to retype it. And I will uh, rename this to image. And I'll go ahead and copy the origin of life brochure title. So image hyphen origin of life brochure. And I'll go ahead and copy this name. And then what I will do is I will simply use some way to capture a screenshot. On the Mac, the application is called Grab. On Windows, the application is called a snipping tool. And if you have Linux, you'll want to look that up using Google or something. It's pretty small. I'm going to see if I can make this any bigger, which I cannot. Uh, so what I'll do instead is I will download the PDF file and because I'm not really concerned about where this is going to belong um, I'll let it download to my downloads folder and I will zoom out just a little bit and I'll go back and grab another screenshot of the magazine cover or the brochure cover and in this case I want I just I don't need the whole corner to corner, but just a good size image. And then I'll save it. So I copied the file name that I would like to save it as. And then I am in the wrong week, as you can see. So I'm going to navigate back to Christian Life and Ministry Images and Videos. Basically, assembling all this into the week. And I, I made one mistake. In my folder, I did not create one for January 2 through 8. So I'll go ahead and do that. I'm going to save all these, uh, this image. I happen to have this open. On the, on the Mac it's called Finder, in Windows it's called Explorer. But I will go ahead and move everything that I need to for the week into that week. Now the one thing I'm missing in my folder list is the first one. It's the image from page two, which I have not saved. So I go back and do that. And again, that's going back to the browser. I'm going to go back to the workbook. But this time, I'm going to go back to Treasures from God's Word. And once the page finishes loading, I'll click on it to just make it a bigger image, and then save as, and then navigate into the folder. And I'll go ahead and save the image from Treasures from God's Word. Close that out. All right. Sorry for the detour. So I have been taking my notes, but I've also been downloading the videos and images, the media that we'll be using uh, for the meetings. All right. Now, under Living as Christians, there's a local needs. Obviously, there's a yearbook option. And I'm not sure if the yearbook option will be exercised in our meeting. And it's doubtful it will be exercised in our meeting. So what I'll do is I'll just continue on to Congregation Bible Study. 
Now, the Congregation Bible Study is uh, using the God's Kingdom rule books. So what I'll do is I'll come here, and I happen to have this. I'll open up another finder, or at least I have the cover. And I'll go back to where my media information is. And now I'll go to the book, God's Kingdom Rules. And the first thing I'm going to do is take a copy of the file name and I'll paste it here. So image of book cover, God's Kingdom Rules, and this is for the Bible study. That's my annotation. Now in the browser, I see that we're going to cover chapter 6, paragraphs 8 through 15, and the box early conventions that gave impetus to the preaching work. So I will right click and open that in a new tab. And I'll also right click the other one and open that in a new tab. And you'll see that I've got these tabs opening. And I'm just simply waiting. So this should open up to paragraphs 8 through 14, 15, which are basically highlighted in orange. I'll make it a little bit bigger in case you want to see me follow along with the thought process. And on this side, uh, this tab, you see I've got the um, early conventions that gave impetus to preaching work box, and the contents of the box, the text, are in orange as opposed to black. So I'll go back to the other tab, and I'll just peruse. So we know that uh, this box has is uh, prefaced or preceded uh, by the convention at 1922 Cedar Point, Ohio, advertising the kingdom. So what I'll do is I'll see when we start discussing this. And you can see convention discourse, they gathered at Cedar Point. So here it would be worthwhile to show this image but I don't know what page it's on. So what I will do is go into section two, or I'm sorry, I'll open up the PDF version of the document, God's Kingdom Rules, and I'll go to chapter two, and in this case, to make it easier for me to find it, I'll just type in Cedar Point as my search, and you can see here I'm at paragraph eight. If I go to page 63, I'm in the proper area. So the image is on page 63. So I'll go back to my notes. Image. Paragraph 8, at least. Page 63. And it's going to be cedar point convention. And this is again for Bible study. Now, the reason for naming these files a certain way is to take advantage of how it displays the file name in the KH Audio playlist. And you'll see that on part two of this video. In part one, it's just gathering this information and putting it together uh, so we can transport it to the Kingdom Hall on a thumb drive or USB stick. Now, I'm going to go back to the web page and see if how this is discussed. So we see that the question covers paragraphs 8 through 10. So we'll display this image for paragraphs 8 through 10. Now, We'll continue on with the Bible study, going down to paragraphs 11 and 12, no mention of Cedar Point here, or conventions. 13, doesn't look like it. 14 and 15. But there's a lot of mention of the Watchtower, so I'm going to scroll back up to see if there's some sort of image of the Watchtower in this chapter. So I don't see one. And I think we're okay here. And I just want to confirm, when does the box get reviewed? 
So we have a few things going on. We have in the question, see also the box. But in paragraph 10, we also have an endnote. The endnote is a pamphlet to whom the work is entrusted and the golden age. So I know that in a previous um, chapter, we talked about the golden age, uh, but because we're, we're going to show this image for paragraphs 8 through 10, it's probably all right to not show that. Now, in the event you do want to show it, you would find a way to make this image and another image, the other image, become one image. And I may show you that in this part one. In the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and copy the file name for this image and save it. Now, I, it is for the Christian Life and Ministry, but I tend to put all my God's Kingdom Rule stuff together in its own folder. And Chapter 6 is underneath Section 2. So I will just go ahead, and it looks like I already created something to this effect. But now we're in, in Chapter 6, so I'll go ahead and add that image. And I'll say chapter chapter six. Hyphen paragraph eight through ten. Hyphen page sixty-three. Cedar Point Convention. Now I may have already grabbed this image for paragraph chap paragraph seven because of um, this book being studied by as a congregation Bible study in December. Okay. So I'll save it, and most likely I have two copies of this with two different file names, which is fine. There's no other real image here that I see, and I'll scroll down and look at man being overjoined and finding hidden treasure I could just confirm if the word treasure, see that pertains to paragraph 20. Right, so these images in the e-publication are close in proximity to paragraphs we'll be reading. So I won't really bother with that. And essentially that's it. Okay. What I end up doing to take it to the Kingdom Hall, and we have to do that because of the internet circumstances we have at, at for our congregation limited um, so I'll transfer all this information the uh, content the files that I downloaded onto something like a USB stick or a thumb drive and I'll take it to the Kingdom Hall okay if you can uh, zip it up and upload it to Google Drive and access it from your Kingdom Hall that's just as well um, the idea is to do some homework up front, gather and assemble the images and content or video content, and uh, you know just prepare uh, before you put this into the KH Audio playlist. Now I'll show you one item, one example of creating your own image. Maybe there's a few images um, that are referenced or that are part of. Uh, our publications. Uh, for example, if I go over to um, the workbook, um, we might find the next week that we had that online. This is not just one image. Let's confirm that. So I'll go over to our workbook, and I'll go back so I can get to the week, and I'll go to nine, January 9th through fifteenth. Now, I will go ahead and click on this Treasure from God, wor God's Word supplemental information. And it looks like it is one image. And if I compare this, they've organized it a little bit differently in the print version, which is fine. Now, I'll keep going down 
And you'll notice on January 16 through 22, I do have quite a series of images, a lot. So what I'll do this time is I will go to that week and I'll go ahead and make the image. So I'll follow the same concept as before. I'll copy the text so it could become, it could serve as uh, the file name. Hezekiah's faith was rewarded. I'll go to the week, 16th through 22nd. I'll go ahead and make an image name out of it. Image hyphen page five hyphen Hezekiah's faith was rewarded. And this is treasures from God's word. Now I will get rid of the apostrophe, uh, again, just for simplicity, for file names. And then I'll be ready to copy the file name at some point. Now I'm going to go to the web browser and go to that week. I'm going to take a look at exactly how this looks, how the images are available to download. So you can see I've got a bunch of images. And on the print version, they tend to have this. Now, I could easily just copy the print version and display it, but our screen is portrait, not, I mean, excuse me, landscape orientation, not the same as the portrait orientation that the print version or the PDF version of the workbook is in. So because it's longer this way, and not this way. Uh, what I will do is um, I'll go ahead and uh, um, make one. So I'll copy the file name and on my Mac I typically use a program called Pages. This is the alternative uh, to the Microsoft Word. Um, I tend to use it just to use it. I could use Google Docs, uh, whatever else, whatever I'm comfortable with. And you should certainly go with your comfort level and your skill level. I will navigate to where I want to save this. So in this case, I'm working on Christian Life and Ministry 2017, but I'm working on a different week. So I'm going to go ahead and create a folder for it, January 16 to 22nd. And what I'll do here is um, create a new document. And in my case, I'm going to, for pages, grab a blank landscape document. I opened up two, I accidentally hit it twice. And then I'm going to arrange it. I've got a 17 inch uh, MacBook Pro. And I'm going to just take advantage of the screen size and zoom in to fit the width. Now all that's done is given me a text editor that will allow me to do things in it. Before I go on, I'm going to save this file, confirming where my location is. I'm going to go back to Notes, make sure I copied the file name and paste it so that way the document saves it, is saved. Not sure what's going on here. So as I'm waiting, yeah, so it did rename it. I'm going to go back to the uh, web browser, and I'm going to start copying the image. So instead of saving it, I'm just going to copy the image. And I'll paste it. And then I'll go ahead and resize it right now. And just start to get the rest and see how we want to best bring the same points that are in the workbook but on a different orientation. Right? So we might do something like put this guy down here, put this up here, there's five of them. So I might just do something like that. Isolation, doubt, these are the fears, right, that uh, we'll be going over at some point.
hopefully that'll picture size will be sufficient. Copy image. And then temptation. And you may recall this if you've seen the Oh Jehovah I Trust in You uh, video, modern day drama that was released at the uh, 2016 convention and how Hezekiah prayed. So, so if we're going with what's in the workbook, we'll see that these images sort of are what they, you know, these Assyrians, um, provoked isolation, doubt, um, intimidation, and temptation. And what did Hezekiah do? And how did Jehovah respond? Right. So now the idea, though, is that we want to keep in mind that the screen is going to look more or less like this at the Kingdom Hall. It's going to be. Uh, essentially, um, uh, rectangular, and want to you want to put these images to fill up the screen. So right now, what you see is a bunch of white space. We don't want that, and so we know that this stands between what was being promoted or provoked. and then what the end result was. And it's a little interesting. These don't give me the best solutions, or the, the shapes aren't the best to deal with. Um, so I have to kind of think about this a little bit. So what we can do maybe is make this big. take these guys and bring up up to the front maybe do something like this almost like a versus right so we have that versus this and these are the fears So maybe something to this effect. And now to kind of round it up a bit. Space it out just a little bit like that. Now let's say this is sufficient. Or maybe we want to do something like a sort of a um, a background to background color or something, but we'll leave it like this for now. I'll move this over slightly, save it, and then what I'll do is I'll go grab my tool called Grab, and I will take a snapshot of of it. Now some of the things to keep in mind are when you're displaying things on the TV, the formatting um, or the margins, how they sort of get absorbed right, uh, as they display the image. So I've given some margin around the image. So that way when it stretches the image to fill the screen, it doesn't lose any of the pictures, but just absorbs the margins. And uh, I'll save it. And because I have a file that is um, named similarly, 
just the extension is different. I'll go ahead and grab it. So Hezekiah, Hezekiah's faith was rewarded. So that's an example of how to compile an image to fit on the TV a little bit better than what is available in print format or even from the e-publication as different images. So that concludes an example of how to compile uh, or prepare uh, to compile for the KH Audio Playlist. And um, I'll be recording this video number two or part two from the Mac that we use at the Kingdom Hall uh, in a similar fashion where I will um, show how to drag and drop these into the playlists and talk about the effects. Uh, but essentially the playlists are there so that the brothers who operate the audio video controls for each meeting have a simple way of enhancing our meeting experience by displaying images and videos. Uh, if you need to contact me or would like to, I will go ahead and post uh, my um, contact information here as part of the closing. So again, my name is Rahul Khanna in Fredericksburg, Virginia. And you can contact me at jw.arcana at gmail.com. And for those of you that can't see that, that should help. So again, thank you for your time. Thank you for your interest.